Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining in tonight. I'm so excited. This is a um, topic that is near and dear to my heart because I have a gymnast <laughs> and she'll share her story here in a little bit, but I'm Lindsay and I actually um, started learning about fueling my body with better nutrition and what I could do in regards to not just helping myself, but also helping my family. Um, it was brought into my kind of, I guess, into my reality that when you're an athlete, you need more plants. And at that time, I was um, I was a CrossFitter. You were what level in gymnastics? Like when I, like um, power might something like that. Five. It was you know four or five years ago, and I was a competitive CrossFitter. I'm also a CrossFit coach, and I learned how many fruits and veggies in servings that we needed every single day, and I was blown away. Um, I thought I was doing really well. I had like this crazy pill box <laughs> and it had all these vitamins in it. And I was getting my blood drawn all the time. And I thought, gosh, I'm doing really well. And then I had a doctor um, tell me how many servings of plants we needed. And also if you're an athlete, how many that really um, came to. So like an average human needing like 10 and then um, athletes needing 15 to 22 at, at minimum. And I was like, literally had like a palm to forehead moment. Oh my goodness. There's no way that I'm doing this for my own body. And here I have, I had this little kahuna who was in like first grade already doing competitive gymnastics um, and my son and my husband. And I knew that if I wasn't doing it and I was being diligent, I knew for sure between the birthday parties and the sleepovers um, that they were not getting enough plants. And so I was so excited to hear that there was a way that we could absolutely get more every single day. Um, I call it mommy peace of mind. So I know that I am just helping to ensure that their bodies are um, well fueled for recovery, but also for prevention, because as much as I want her to perform in gymnastics, I really want her to not be sick through her adult life um, as she raises kids and as she ages into being an elderly child. So my real why is much bigger than just performance, but um, I said yes, because I was focusing on performance at the time I was competing in a high level CrossFit. And um, I quite frankly thought that if there was anything that I could do to fuel my body and make myself happy, that I would likely perform better on the other end. So um, that's my brief story, but I'm really excited. We have some wonderful guests here. Um, I'm going to be introducing our next speaker, Colleen, who is a physician's assistant, also the mommy of a gymnast, a beautiful human with like just so much incredible knowledge and just so much purpose. And I'm just really excited for her to share her story as to why um, she said yes and what she really thinks from a medical standpoint um, fueling your body looks like and how we can do that better. And she probably has so much other stuff she'll talk about that I don't have any idea about. <laughs> so um, Colleen, please join us and um, share. Okay, great. So as you can see, I'm in the, the, the throes of my car. It's like the quietest space that I could have. It's five o'clock and kids are screaming in the pool and running in and out. So I decided to lock myself in the car. So thanks for having me, you guys. I really appreciate it. As Lindsay said, my name is Colleen and I've been a physician assistant for the past 17 years actually. Um, and my seven year old has been involved uh, in gymnastics since she was four. Oh, and here comes my little one who, where I thought I was safe. Hey, Ash, out of the car. Well, I'm gonna just continue and you may see my four year old, okay? <laughs> um, so, you know, soon after she actually started gymnastics, she was invited to the preteen. So she's really been exercising and stressing her body since she was four years old. Cause at that time she was like, I don't know, hot shots or whatever that is. Um, and she was there two days a week, you know, for at least, um, I guess three hours total at four years old. Um, and at that time, really as a healthcare professional, I really didn't understand the connection between food fueling our body and food actually damaging our bodies and how it really relates to our health and vitality and athletic performance as well. My education, unfortunately, did not touch on any of those topics. And I went to school at a medical school. So I was in school with all the med students. We had a lot of the same classes and we didn't talk about nutrition. I'm really passionate about this topic because I've actually seen firsthand what you know diet, changing our diet, changing our health trajectory has done for um, my family. Uh, and then, you know, kind of all the education that's come with it is really same as Lindsay, kind of like palm to head moment, like 
floored with just what this is all done, what this can all do prevention wise and healing wise. So um, regardless of the level of your gymnast, they're likely working out at the gym anywhere from t six to 30 hours a week. Um, and this level of exercise definitely can put a toll on their bodies. Yes, it's great for the cardiovascular system. It's really great for their overall health, but you know, I didn't really know until I went through school um, what it actually can do and the, the environment it could create, um, sorry, my career, can create to um, causing like stress, um, chronic inflammation, oxidative stress, and cellular damage. Um, so, you know, it's a common thing to see athletes get sick over time, um, especially when they're repetitively training over and over as gymnasts do. And then all of a sudden the stress comes up a big, big competition or a game, and then they got a cold and they're not able to do as well um, as they could have done if they were completely um, pulled out. You know what? I'm going to have to pause. I really apologize. This is not, <laughs> not what I was thinking. Was it's okay. Happen. You you can join back in when you like. We all know what it is. Okay. It has been Goddard, but this is not what. <laughs> it's gracious the things that you do to try and avoid things. Like so don't be in a mom, man. <laughs> mom, mom moment, right? Mommy moment. <laughs> um, so really, you know, it kind of comes down to you know what can we do to fuel our bodies to heal. Um, and to repair, especially when your gymnast is at the gym for so many hours a week. And, you know, how we do this is by fueling with a plant strong um, diet, with mainly fruits and veggies. You know, we, we're not vegan in our house, um, but we do lots of fruits and vegetables. And why is that? Well, fruits and vegetables contain the phytonutrients and the antioxidants, which are the building blocks to fueling and repairing cells. So, and not to mention priming your immune system as well so that you are your, your body is up in the ready to fight any kind of virus or anything that is going on especially when you're in a stressed um, time because you know increased exercise does stress your body so you want to make sure you've got a good immune system primed immune system to um, you know fight anything that can occur at that time so you know because of the education, my family's made a ton of changes in our diet since we started our health journey about 11 years ago. We've cleaned up our diet, we've decreased um, our added sugar intake, transitioned to organic eating, we've added in omegas and vitamin D3, and we've also bridged our fruit and veggie gap with Juice Plus. And so, um, you know, sorry. Uh, as a mom and healthcare professional, there really isn't anything else that I found or read about in the literature. Um, I do read uh, a lot of the health journals um, that have so many positive effects than fruits and vegetables, right? We all know we are what we eat. Um, so really the struggle is getting our children to get the amount that they really need and the variety. We need to eat the rainbow. The rainbow creates a symphony that actually potentiates each other and they all catalyze, all those phytonutrients catalyze each other into better cellular repair and better um, health of our body. So, um, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like eating beets and I don't like papayas and a lot of my my children they're pretty decent eaters I would love them for them to be better but um you know they don't like beets either so I feel um just getting that peace of mind as Lindsay has said that mommy peace of mind knowing that my daughter is so active um and she gets the dense nutrition of 30 fruits and vegetables in her diet every single day with the ease of juice plus and I can even give her more when she's starting to feel like she might be getting a cold or she's had a particularly challenging workout um, to help with the repair and recovery from her workout because it is just food. So um, things that I've seen, she's recovered quicker than her teammates. She doesn't really complain of muscle soreness um, very much by any means. She hardly misses her workouts due to um, illness. And um, unfortunately, she broke her tibia skiing it was not a gymnastics accident it was a skiing accident and she had a, a really big break in the tibia she did not need surgery and she actually healed faster than the predicted time of eight weeks in a long cast so if any of you guys are familiar with that she had to be in a cast from her um her whole from her like top of her hip down all the way to her foot um and so she's in the 
process of like doing some physical therapy to help with her um, calf muscle, but the bone healed much faster. Actually, they told us she'd be in a cast for eight weeks and she was in the cast for only four. And then she did have to be in a boot for two weeks, but so she did amazing. I was so proud of her. Um, and, uh, and, you know, it just, I know that I'm giving my seven year old this amazing prevention, nutrition, nutrition and prevention foundation for her now, for her future gymnastics career, um, you know, even before, for when she's ready to have kids and um, when she becomes an active and vivacious grandparent, you know, this is like the foundation of her health. So I'm really, really, really um, gives me so much peace of mind. So thank you for sharing with me. And I'm just gonna share a quick, um, very short video of the most decorated gymnast in US history and her Juice Plus story. So just give me a second, I'm gonna screen share on my iPad here. Um, and I got, uh, where'd it go? Website, there we go. All right, share and here we go. Is it working on your end, Colleen? <clears throat> it is. Can you guys not see it? No, we can't. But I can. Let me see if I can help you and pull it up the same one. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. That's weird. It's okay. No problem. Stop sharing. Let me um, see. I should be able to do the same one. I think I have the same one pulled up. Can you see? Yep. <laughs> My parents, um, growing up, they had a difficult time with me. I was a bit of a picky eater. I still am. I can remember my mother trying to get me to eat spinach, and I was very stubborn. And um, there were certain things I liked and certain things I didn't like. So when they talked to my coach about making sure I had um, the right nutrition, he brought up this thing called Juice Plus. And my parents really jumped on that. They weren't really much into supplements, but they really felt like this would be something that could fill the gaps with my nutrition. And especially with all the travel and, and the training and the calories being burned, they wanted me to have a little bit more than, than what my sister and brother were just kind of generally getting through the foods that we were eating. Um, so that was a really big part of my, my training regimen. Okay. So um, that was the correct one, correct, Colleen? Okay, and so I think we have um, Carla, who's gonna share her beautiful story, also the mama of a gymnast mm -hmm. and some beautiful insight. Um, so Carla, take it away. Hi, I'm Carla. Um, I'm a mom of three girls, uh, two teenagers and one eight-year-old. I am also taking care of two elderly parents, so they call me I was supposed to be part of a sandwich generation because I take care of the elderly and I take care of kids. So um, uh, my eight-year-old is my gymnast. She's actually brand new to gymnastics. She, is, uh, she was new to team this year, and rather last year. And um, I got into Juice Plus about two years ago because I was also, I'm, I'm, I'm a runner and I was injured about, Three years ago, I tore my ACL and uh, my meniscus and my, um, yeah, ACL and meniscus. And I was starting to just go back into long distance running again. And I found out about Juice Plus and I wanted a source of, of nutrition that is sustainable, that I didn't have to go to the grocery every day to buy fresh produce for. And it made sense to me. But more, it made more sense when I found out about the children's health study because um, so when Athena, my youngest, wanted to, to join the team, I said, you can't join the team because you don't eat properly. She only eats white food, white rice, white pasta, white bread, 
with a sprinkle of meat and fruits and veggies here and there. So, when, so to me, the, um, the idea of giving her um, 30 different kinds of fruits and vegetables in gummies was just heaven sent because she, she liked the gummies. She liked snacking on it. So ever since we started taking the gummies, she just preferred to have to snack on fruits and veggies. Now I have to be really honest. Sometimes I just don't have the time to go to the grocery and buy another fresh set of fruits and veggies because I, I, I have five kids to take care of. And, um, even if I buy a lot and I prep for the whole week, midweek, my veggies spoil. So um, it's really, really uh, like what Nzea and Colleen said earlier, it's, it's a mommy peace of mind to know that, okay, I, may, I couldn't get to the grocery today, but I can give her her omega capsules and she can have her chewables and I, I'm covered. I bridge the gap. Um, but one thing I noticed that since she joined team this year, she um, she has had more energy just because she's also eating more fruits and vegetables. She is able to sustain the and and, and you know sustain her energy throughout the long um, hours of training for gymnastics. I mean, she's there four times a day a week uh, in the gym and two hours each time, and it's a lot. She's only eight, um, and she still has a lot of schoolwork after that. But I, I was really surprised to see that she is able to, you know, keep up with that schedule and keep up physically. Um, she's gotten sick a few times here and there, but the, the biggest thing is that she bounces back quickly. She doesn't – we don't have to nurse a, a, a bug for so long because – she's able to get over it in 24 hours. And I think I really attribute that to the power of fruits and vegetables. And um, also another thing, uh, the gym where uh, she's at, she's, she's IGC, so she's not in the level, of the same level as USAG. And I was surprised because one of the coaches, the coach for levels seven to nine, um, recommended Juice Plus to her kids and I was really surprised it turns out that she grew up on Juice Plus and her parents run a gymnastics um, studio over in Tennessee and they truly believe they, they completely endorse um, Juice Plus to their uh, athletes because they grew up with it like she this coach grew up and with with um, taking Juice Plus, and she believes in the, the power of, of having more fruits and vegetables in, in an athlete's system. So, um, so I thought that was like a, a very positive reinforcement to, to my child. So I keep telling her, you know, see how Coach Becca also recommends Juice Plus, and it's a good way for her to keep going. Because sometimes, you know, she, she's just not as diligent with with taking her chewables or taking the omegas, especially since the omegas are in, um, still in a capsule form. Uh, I do squeeze it and add it to her yogurt sometimes, but uh, she knows because it's orange. Um, so that's, that's my story. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story. <laughs> and um, we did not do any practice because I wanted it to just be Mia's true authentic story, but she knows her life as a gymnast before and after, and also all the conversation that she has with her friends. So um, do you want to share a little bit? Sure. Okay. Um, so my name is Mia. I'm 13, and I'm a currently level six competitive gymnast. So I'm normally in the gym from three to five days a week. Um, Juice Plus has definitely helped. Like in September, I believe, I sprained my ankle. and uh, normally it would take about like two weeks to heal, but I doubled up, tripled up on Juice Plus, and I was out of my crutches in one week, which doctors were very impressed by that. And um, in the summer, instead of eating food, because sometimes I just get up, get ready, and I'm out the door, it's a lot easier. We just make the shakes, put the powders in, 
we always sometimes will add like fruits and vegetables, things like that. And they're so amazing, easy to take in the car and they're really good too. And granola bars too. I love those. We pack them like in our bags all the time for gymnastics. And especially Juice Plus helps throughout cold season or just like flu season in general. I've noticed that during the seasons, I don't like I it's rare that I will get sick when all my other friends are sick and I just feel so bad. <laughs> it's not good. Yeah. And when she says we make shakes, uh, she's responsible for making her own. She's 13 years old. <laughs> so yeah. it's her job. But I just think just to wrap this all up and kind of tie it up with the bow, I think that what we just are talking about is the fact that you know, we're not getting enough as it is. And then especially for athletes, it's so essential, um, whether it's for performance or recovery, just making sure that they, um, you have strong immune systems. And when we're demanding so much of their little bodies, it's so important that we continue to put even more back into it. And it also just teaches them a really great foundation. So, um, I'm just, I love that we have partnered health providers. Colleen, thank you so much. As a physician's assistant, I know um, doctors throughout the world, and it really goes back to our clinical research and how much of that we have. Um, it's undisputed if this gets into your body and shows up like food. And so I know I'm so thankful that someone was brave enough to share it with me. I'm so thankful that my kids get to have this strong foundation and that we get to just share our story and hopefully it inspires you to at least eat another apple <laughs> a day, um, but really think about variety, think about um, quality, think about quantity and reach out to anyone that um, has invited you to take a look at this. If you have any questions about what it is and how we really have a nutritional upgrade in our back pocket and in our homes, but thank you all so much for joining and have a wonderful evening.